we don't know that this is actually true. We don't know if it's a redirect. We don't know if it's just a, a, a wishful thinking. We also don't know if you had permission to say it. Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman, Super Fit Cosplay, and I've got maybe, maybe the biggest update yet. Very excited about this one because I obviously have a dog. If you don't know, I have a greyhound and his name is Cal. And so, anything, anytime, anywhere, you get a dog in front of me or an animal, I'm like, I'm the kind of guy that when I'm running, if I'm out running and I see a dog, I'm all, I interact with the dog and I talk with the dog and I chat with the dog, but not once do I say hi to the human. <laughs> um, sometimes maybe I do, but like, I'm, I, I love animals. I love dogs, especially. So this is really exciting to me. So it looks like we have possibly heard that now we've we've heard rumors of course we've been talking about it we've been speculating about it but it sounds like we've got a pretty decent source that's saying that crypto is going to be in the new superman movie 2025 directed by james gunn starring david cornsweat so dc comic book writer mark wade so he was recently on the capes and lunatics podcast and he in no uncertain terms, sort of confirmed that Crypto, the superpowered dog, will appear in Superman 2025. That to me is exciting. That to me is sort of a reliable source. So, for those of you who don't know, Wade is best known for his Batman Superman World's Finest story and also 1996's Kingdom Come. He's also recently worked on Marvel in terms of Daredevil and Captain America, but he's still with DC a lot, really a lot with DC. So, when something like that comes from a source like that, I tend to, uh, I don't take it as gospel. Like, I don't know, I, uh, I, I don't think that that means it's 100% confirmed, but I think that's kind of like, that's kind of like a 99.9% .9 sort of, yeah, this is probably happening because this is somebody sort of, not necessarily on the inside of the films, but certainly on the inside of the organization who like who would have access to some kind of information now when stuff like this comes out you do take it with a grain of salt we don't know that this is actually true we don't know if it's a redirect we don't know if it's just a, a a wishful thinking we also don't know if he had permission to say it but he said it so that's what we're at now so who knows who knows what that means but i i tend to believe this i feel like if we don't see and I'm going to talk about this in a second. If we don't see him necessarily as a superpowered dog, we see the dog. Maybe we see a hint of it. I think we're going to see a lot of hints in this movie. I think by the time the movie ends, we're going to get a hint of a new costume. We're going to get maybe the hint of crypto. Maybe that's that. Maybe that's the 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 stinger scene at the end of the credits. Who knows? So Wade had this to say about James Gunn and his sort of vision for Superman 2025. I like Gunn's reverential approach, by and large, to this kind of stuff, and, you know, reverential without taking it too seriously. I mean, the movie has a dog in it, a superpowered dog with heat vision. So that's actually also pretty, like, telling, so that's, like, no in certain terms, he's like, yeah, the, you're, and this is what I was saying before, I'm going to come back to this, you're going to see a superpowered dog with heat vision, and that's, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. So... It is interesting that he's saying that Gunn is not taking himself too seriously. And I think, now, I think that this can go one of two ways, right? I think if the director is not taking himself too seriously, we can end up with something like Superman 3. I, look, I have a love in my heart for Superman 3, but I don't think that many of us will say that that was the best of the four. Um, <laughs> but I think that was, that was an example of us taking ourselves like not as seriously as we should and taking it too far am i still recording ah, yes i am there we go um but i think i think uh that also means that he's going to have fun with it and he's not going to take it too seriously in the terms that we're not going to have like no fun so i think i think i would like to see a combination of sort of Man of Steel and 1978 Superman. So 1978 Superman, by today's standards, could be looked at, looked at, and think, oh, that's camp, that's campy, it's kind of goofy. But it's also it's also set in like a real type world, right? So, and Man of Steel kind of goes the other way, where it's like, all right, that's really, that's really intense. That's that's intense. I think if we find something in the middle, and we can like live there. 
That would be good. I think, for me, Superman the Animated Series, this is a throwback. Um, I love that theme. I think that was the right theme. <laughs> yeah, I love it so much, right? But I, I think the Superman the Animated Series was actually awesome with this. Like, it, 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 it knew exactly what it was, and it took itself seriously enough, but it also had fun enough. Um... If I were to say what's what's the what's the amalgamation of Superman 1978 and Superman uh, Man of Steel, I'd say it's the animated series, um, or at least one of the animated movies. So, who knows? Maybe that's where we're headed. Maybe that's what we're going to see. But that's that's. I thought that was really exciting. As you know, I like to come and talk about things as I hear them. So obviously, Superman news has been slowing down a little bit now, since production has wrapped. So whenever something like this comes out, I'm like. Yeah, Bring it on. I like that. I want to talk about it. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Do you think crypto is the right choice, the wrong choice? Comment down below. I would love to hear what you think. So, look, as always, if you like this channel, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Ding, ding. Follow me at Superman. Wow. Follow me at Melbourne Superman on Instagram. Make sure you check out the members only area. I've got stuff in there that comes out early, stuff in there that's not accessible to the public. I'm going to be putting out a new re review, uh, sorry, reaction to my, to this Superman Christopher Reeve story. So obviously there's already one of those on my page, but this one I did it again just to see if it had the same effect. Uh, and it's just a little bit more raw. So that's going to go up into the members area only. So the members area starts at $2.99 a month. Um, please, please help me out. My YouTube revenue is very important to me as I'm going to need to move soon so I'm going to need some extra bucks to do that and to do that I need to get my fan base up and you're all helping me with that and I really appreciate all of you I really appreciate everybody that watches this channel I really want to keep going with it and that comes from all of you so thank you so much for everybody who's watched so far thank you for watching this video and I will catch you next time